Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Phosphat, which is a fantastic new processor um, from Clevegrand. It's um, like a little bit of an equalizer, but instead of uh, cutting or boosting, it is adding. And in this case, it can add, the, it can add through an oscillator body to your sound and also can add noise as I will show you in a moment. Before I continue I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay I'm going to demonstrate um, uh, Phosphat first of all using Digistick so let's load the Digistick here. Here we are and let's create something very simple like a simple pattern. We do a host to sync and then we create a bass snare pattern like so, nice and simple. Let's play. Okay, nice and simple. So let's load Phosphat now. There it is. So let's maximize it. As you can see, the interface is quite simple. So on the left hand side, we have a spectrum here where we can define the how, the, where the trigger frequency is within the spectrum and also the width. So it's like a band, um, band width, uh, band pass filter, really. Then here you see the trigger itself and you can establish also the flow level, which helps you to isolate a part of frequency that you want for those to, to create your trigger. You have the final output level of that trigger here, which will dictate very much how much the, os the oscillator will be acting as an input because there's dynamics to uh, the level of the trigger. And for the filter, you have attack and release. You have the frequency for the filter itself. Then you have a pitch drop dial, which uh, allows you to set how much the pitch will drop during the release. And then you have a low cut filter. And you have the final output in gain. Below you can add a noise as well. You have attack release, your stereo uh, setting, and then you have low cut and high cut filter, your gain for the noise, and ultimately also a final output for uh, the effect. Then up here you have a selection of presets, which of course you can choose the one you like, save some of them, etc., etc. So let's um, turn down the gain for both oscillator and noise. And let's listen first to the pattern coming from Digistex and also see what happens on the interface. So as you can see on the top, you see the triggers, which is in white, uh, which is overimposed in, on the original signal. And down here at the bottom, you see the signal as well. And let me mute the channel so you can see it better while it's running. So you see the spectrum here. So if I want, for example, um, to trigger to create a trigger which goes on uh, the um, on the snare, so I will have to change the frequency here for the trigger to go to something like this, probably enhance the width a little bit, and then act on the flow. Let's listen. And you can see that uh, the trigger here in white is happening only when the snare is played. And that depends on the trigger frequency, which you can set for the spectrum, the wave, of course. And then also you adjust the flow here to eliminate some frequency as well to uh, generate the trigger. Here you have your final um, output level from the trigger, very important. You have to increase that if you want to have a... Uh, more dynamic uh, impact on the oscillator or noise. So let's activate the oscillator now. Hopefully you can see the, let me mute it and run it as like so. You can see that the oscillator is producing an output here and you can see the uh, level here going up for the oscillator. Okay. And now let me show you what happens as uh, I change the frequency as well. Mm -hmm. 
So you can hear that the frequency is going up. Let me change the pitch drop now. You can see when the pitch drop is down to the left zero that um, it causes no pitch drop to to occur. Of course, that is within the release timing, so you need to change the release if you want a longer pitch drop, right? And of course, if you want a shorter pitch drop, decrease the release. Now, we can act also on the noise, so let me remove the gain on the oscillator and try in the noise. You don't hear it much, let's increase the level and then also the release. So now you hear better the uh, noise because the release is much longer. Let's change some other parameters like the low cut and the high cut. And of course you see the effect of adjusting the low cut and high cut filter here up here in this representation. And now let's combine the two. Of course, another example would be, for example, to use it with notes. So why not? Let's try. Let's clear this. We add another audio channel, like so, and also a MIDI channel. On the audio channel, we actually create a launch grand piano. Like so, on the MIDI channel, we are going to load um, a core bud, two, like so, and we're going to create a simple chord pattern, something like so, nothing major, like so. Then we are going to double click here to bring also an instance of a ARP, ARP bud two. There we are, we connect the two. So chord bud two is driving our bud two. So the codes here will drive the arpeggio here, and then we get um, Grand Piano here to actually be driven by our bud two. Now we open up our bud two and we create a bit of a sequence, and I'm going to exaggerate on some notes because I will then be, be able to recognize them better using phosphate. Uh, like so, and... Um, Oops, what I've done here. Oops, it needs to be called by the two driving that. I'm going to increase the velocity to the fourth and eighth step, and I'm going also to go up by a why not a two octave like so let's listen so you can clearly hear distinction on step four and step eight now let's introduce fourth fat here for the grand piano and now let's play to isolate those notes see the trigger which is generating only of those high pitch notes we increase the level now we bring in the oscillator and the noise
this is another example of how you could use it. But of course, remember, you have also preset which you can uh, choose from. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this quick in, in introduction and demo of uh, um, Phosphat. It's quite a unique um, tool. It's quite really nice in terms of adding that oscillator sound and noise. It's really adding body to your uh, rhythm or um, sound texture to create something a little bit uh, with a bigger body. I hope you enjoy. See you next time. Bye.